Objects all around us are emitting light. That's why we can see them. Some of them are specifically designed to perform various tasks. TV and computer screens show us images. Paints come in particular colors, and so on. How do they work? If we could look inside, say a light bulb, we'd see that it is all about the dance of atoms, molecules, and light. On the inside surface of a fluorescent light bulb, there's a material with special properties. Like all materials, it is made up of molecules, collections of atomic nuclei and electrons that move in an ongoing pattern, like a dance. Here's one of the molecules. The nuclei are in the middle, and there are electrons in the outer parts. There are different kinds of light that can interact with these molecules. Light is made up of photons, which move with a range of different amounts of energy. If there is too much or too little energy in the photons, our eyes won't see them. The high energy invisible light is called ultraviolet, familiar from sunburn, and the low energy invisible light is called infrared and can be sensed as heat. The light we see is just the right range of energy, not too much, not too little. Light can interact with the molecules in a variety of ways, and what we see depends upon what happens. One of the electrons in the molecule absorbs the photon and gets more energy. This can happen in any material, and what can happen next depends upon the material's properties. For example, the electron can simply send out a photon that is just the same as before and return to its original dance pattern or the energy gets shared around inside the molecule or with other molecules, changing the dance entirely and maybe generating only heat. But what actually happens in a fluorescent light bulb is that the molecule keeps some of the energy while sending out a less energetic visible photon. All of the very many molecules in the material doing this together make the bulb glow. A process like this is going on in everything that you see. Photons and electrons dance together in various ways to bring you light, in light bulbs, in paints, even in computer screens. Chemists and physicists work to understand and design new materials and tools using this knowledge. They study the equations that describe the dance of the electrons, sometimes using powerful computers. They then design new devices and materials based upon the results of their research. Different materials and devices are based on different dances. It's all about the choreography. So the next time you wonder where the light that you see all around you comes from, remember that it is all about the dance. <laughs>